My name is Paul Oliver. I'm the owner of Pinellas Power Products. And this is my extended runtime fuel kit for the new Predator 5000 watt inverter series generator. If you're not already aware of it, the 5000 watt Predator is a dual fuel or gasoline and propane generator. Uh, this will be my first kit designed specifically to work on a dual fuel generator. Uh, if you wanted to run this one off of the stock tank with my kit installed, it is absolutely possible. You run it according to the owner's manual. You don't have to make any changes whatsoever. If you want to run it off of propane, you run it by the propane instructions in the owner's manual. There are no special considerations needed with the addition of my kit. Uh, the first question I usually get from customers is, can I use the stock tank? And I just answered that, yes, you absolutely can. The second most common question I get is, is it a gravity feed? No, it is not. It uses a fuel pump. Uh, if you are curious about this, then in the description section below this video, you'll see a link to my website. Please go to my website and watch the installation instruction video and you can see how it works. Uh, my kit comes with everything you need except for the tank itself and that's because People are going to want different sizes of tanks, anywhere from a 3-gallon to a 300-gallon. And my kit will work with any size tank you want. Uh, if you purchase the tank from me, then you'd be paying to ship a box of air across the country. So I strongly advise people to use a local tank. Uh, there are several marine places that sell fuel tanks. I've got a link on my website to Molar Marine Fuel Tanks. And I've also got a video at the bottom of the website for how to use a 14 gallon fuel caddy, which I really like because at my age, lifting 14 gallons of fuel is a pain. And the 14 gallon fuel caddy has wheels on it just like the generator, so it makes it very easy to portable, or makes it easily portable. Uh, so as I said, my kit comes with everything you need except for the tank itself. Uh, that would include the fitting that goes into the tank, a hose, prime ball hose that will connect your generator to your remote fuel tank. Real quickly, the prime ball hose has an arrow and that indicates the direction of fuel flow. Each of the end quick disconnect fittings have an arrow to indicate the direction of fuel flow. And obviously fuel should flow from the tank to the generator. So you'll connect the end with the icon of a fuel tank to the fuel tank. Just like that. Then, on this particular generator, I have hidden the fuel inlet port on the inside. It just lends itself very well to doing that. And that way the generator has a nice clean look from the outside. So what you'll do is open up this size cover. Then open up the oil drain hole. Then take the fuel line and drop it out through the side. You can then put this cover back on because the generator is much quieter with the cover on. Then hook the generator end of the fuel hose to the generator. If your fuel tank has a manual shutoff valve, go ahead and turn the manual valve to the on position. If your generator has a manual fuel tank vent, make sure that the fuel tank vent is in the open position. Then on the front of this generator, you'll notice that the fuel selector valve has three positions. It's got a propane position, an off slash storage position, and a gasoline position. So the first time you hook up this kit, or the, each time when you hook up the hose, you'll want to move the fuel selector valve to the run position for gasoline. And then you're going to pump this fuel prime ball until you feel fuel running through it. Because initially this hose will be full of air. So you want to run all the air through the hose. And with this in the gasoline position, it's running the air into the stock tank, 
where it's then vented out through the stock tank vent. So once you feel the prime bulb getting solid, you can either return it to the off slash storage position now or go ahead and start the generator and then move it to the off slash storage. So to start the generator, you would make sure that this switch is in the run position and then you would push this button twice and it would go ahead and start up and run. I'm not going to start it up inside because we are in an enclosed building and if you already own one of these generators, you know what they sound like. So then once you had the generator started and running, you would then move the fuel selector valve to the off slash storage position. And that way, it's pulling fuel from my remote tank instead of the stock tank. There is a decal that comes with the kit, and I've got it stuck to the other side of the generator, that describes the procedure for running it off of the remote tank. I do not describe the stock propane or the stock fuel positions because those are detailed very well in the owner's manual and they remain completely unchanged. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please look in the description section right below this video. There's a link to my website and it should answer just about any questions you may have. If it doesn't answer all your questions, please get in touch with me and ask me anything you need to know. That's what I'm here for. I thank you so much for your time.